everybody aware just so where we are or at least I, I want to try and let everybody know. We're right here. Titan Forest is here. The main canyon for Northern Forest is here. So yeah. That's where we're going to be working for a while. We still have a lot to do out down the purple base. Um, we still got our main tower to do. We got stuff over here to do. We are just... This game is endless, man. In a, in a great way. Where's my cave? There's my pointless bridge for materials to come into my pointless factory. But that's what we do here at Maker Gaming. We uh, have a thought on a whim and we try and construct it for days and days. I, I like how this is coming though. I thought it for it to be a little more uh, random, but so far up here it's pretty orderly. I don't exactly know how my constructor layer is going to go yet. And I don't know if I mentioned it, this is going to be all um, iron for the top. Because we just don't have the room um, up there in the middle line for the splitters and everything. Uh, to have more than one material. We can get one more here, though, to even it out. We don't even need this to be... We don't need another splitter. We got that. You know, it's important. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta know a little more about this, right? We gotta know how much iron is coming in. What are our options here? Let's go find out. Well, I'll go, I'll go alone. I'll let you know. All right, we have 480 on normal with the Mark II miners on the pier. All right, here's the results. Two pure iron nodes, Mark II miners. We have 480 a minute with no slugs. So let's work with that. Count our smelters at 30 each. Then we can start coming up with what we want to build. And also, we got to remember if we want steel, we could do a truck station or something and pull some coal from... Um, oh shit, there's my boombox. Pull some coal from the dune desert. Alright, we have 15 at 30. What is that? 350 is 450. Wow, so we actually are going to use that whole thing. We got 30 coming off. 30 extra. Does that mean we want to get rid of our extra? Hmm. Let's get rid of this one. So with all this stuff still kind of just starting to get planned out, why don't we at least get the iron running? That's something. I'm also thinking we have enough room on the top for two more smelters. That would actually max us out at 480 which is what we'll get out of these two miners, and maybe we could use that. And we can see if we have the steel alternate that uses the uh, iron ingots. All right, hopefully we have enough power for this. That's something I was working on. Didn't pan out. That wasn't what I meant to do at all right there. Don't care. They are first fast belt production in this playthrough. We're getting there. That's going to do for now. And let's hope we don't trip. A lot of faith here in our uh, power. We should maybe go hook a couple more up, like, right now. But. Nah. Nah.
nailed it. Frantic method. Alright, we're just getting a few details. Uh, I'm not even sure if we'll keep them. Just adding layers. I think we're going to take away this whole layer. Make it more open. Let's try it. Alright, so just set up a line um, for the iron plates. And then we're going to run all the belts up top. So we're just setting these belt, uh, these mergers to the correct level, connecting them up. So unfortunately what happened is I recorded over an hour's worth of footage with my mic muted. So uh, I think just the best way to get through it is I'm going to do all of the uh, next three minutes in time lapse. And I'll speak to it uh, back and forth throughout the video. Here we go. All right, this is me just trying to make a straight belt. We're going to leave this out. This is going to go to our storage and then eventually a sink. And it's just me trying to make it decently straight and then lift it up to the level where we already have this one. And we're just going to start a bit of a bus right here. Uh, use the hanging conveyor ceiling mounts. Don't use those too often. But it was off by the one meter, so change the ceiling height, and now they match up. I fixed that. I made it more right angle-like. running power I don't I don't know if it'll be, end up being exactly like this but I like it for now I, I've been adding to it and uh, we're just adding each of those junctions where they need to go up there uh, as we add layers coming up I am liking the shape of it I, I like I, I like the belts up top and feeding the machines below get like a, a lot more movement like that. And then that's busing. We're going to make a uh, the splitters, the smart splitters. So here we're just adding for future capacity. The plan here is to put a smart splitter underneath each storage and uh, we'll assign them to, you know, iron plates, rods, etc. And then the sushi belt will spit them out going forward. And these are just getting some labels on here. And we're going to set up a sink. Temporary. That's why we're just putting it right there. It's not going to last even the, the episode. Alright, and this is me just kind of having a similar build. I'm just seeing what all materials we could produce in this cave. Um, so far with just the three basic materials, but also if we bring copper in. And looking at the assemblers there, I'm sorry, the manufacturer for the fuse rods or for the fuse frames, we are going to need steel. So if we want that manufacturer, we're going to need steel first. I should have clipped this. There's no reason to hold on that shot for that long. So definitely time to get rid of that pattern. Um, I didn't mean to do coated concrete.
But actually, it, it kind of looks cool the way the reflections are below it and coming off of it. Keep it for now. Hello? Hello. Alright, I'm playing offline right now, but I just popped on the uh, recorder just to show that... I added 600 megawatts real quick. This is not permanent. This is just to keep us above ground while we... Um, offline between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hook up some of the copper and other stuff over here so that this bridge of resources is ready at the cave. So in the next episode, whatever episode I slip this in to inform of this, um, I can just be straight building. I don't have to worry about this other stuff. All right. As good a time as any to jump back in to the game. I just returned from recording some lighting video. Uh, for my little lighting tips video out there, I did a launcher. I was coming this way, saw this high ass plateau, and I thought I'd stop over. Press the record in case there's anything cool up here. Um, man, I, I probably cut this, but this episode's weird because I did a lot of work on the tree and the cave, and I'm trying to split it up so try and keep most of the cave stuff this episode maybe the tree stuff next episode is this new nice all right i'm surprised nothing's come out to kill me yet put that as a mark at one point i used to mark on the map every time i got every time i got the hard drive but i just Who's got time for that? Uh, let's get that running, and I want to see if there's anything up here in terms of resources. I have seen that water before. A lot of these rock formations are very much the way, or the way the nodes look. So I'm surprised I'm not seeing anything up here. Looks like I'm over halfway across this, and I haven't seen anything of note except water. Well, let's you know, let's hit the V. Let's hit the finder. Um, for at least the basics. Oh. Alright, so there's either copper up here or directly below us. Oh shit, look at that! Holy hell. That is awesome. Uh, that w I wouldn't have cared at all a month and a half ago. But the boombox is cool as hell, man. Hell yeah, hunt down. Let's hear it. How many tracks we got? Five tracks. Man, how lucky. How lucky to find that. And how lucky to be recording for all of y'all. Well, for all of y'all that care where the soundtracks are. And don't get online to see anything. I'm so excited for my time-lapse videos. Alright, nothing to note down here. Let's get back down there. Oh, besides the hunt down. That's awesome. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the inspiration of this new tape. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try so hard to zone out, stop talking, and just time lapse through um, at least the rest of the basic iron. Um, get the basic iron parts running before the end of the episode.
I could be wrong, but about 10 seconds ago in that hunt down music, sounded like the Taco Bell Bell. All right. We've got those. We need to get the other constructors going. Acting like you're all done over here. To dump signs. All right, so we have them all going there. I'm thinking of some way we're probably going to do just a regular splitter. Because uh, overflow, an overflow smart splitter setup is going to be pretty hard on this side of the belt. Because I think we're sushi belting most of this stuff out. So we'll have smart splitters and overflows at the storage containers at the end. Um, but yeah, for now. All right, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get to time lapse in. See how I do. Alright, hopefully the sound works. I want to add two more smelters up there to get the four, full 480, and we'll track those back to make sure that the farthest one's back. The iron plates, next would be iron rods. I think we need less rods than plates in terms of secondary builds, but. Let's see. See what they cost to our 480. That's not very many in or out. 15 and 15. We should go to, I guess, at least the full five. We're going to raise this so that we can do a lift coming off of a splitter. We also have a research to check, that's nice. all these. We need to go them out that way. But we also want probably want to split. Maybe we do a smart splitter. That might work. Use the belt. Uh, figure out a place for it. Doesn't matter at the moment. I have left B. Iron rods. Overflow, that should work. Yes. Okay, and then we can just bring it this way. That works. Uh, I think it works. Alright, that's merge. For lift down, that should be the right height. For one, looks like it. Yes. Alright, we're set. Uh, we gotta feed it. So let me do what I said above. We'll fix it now before we get any farther. Hopefully, we can fit two. Time to squeeze. That's perfect. So we'll split that one. We'll tag this one. I think we'll just do a splitter here. Oh, 
Alright, so this is going to be an uneven belt at some point. Where 15 is going to go up that way, and then we're just going to have to use the 45 on the next line. Those should all be hooked up. What's missing? I think the final connection? Yes. Yep, we're gonna fix that. That's only one little step to fix it. We're gonna center it. That should be straighter. Much better. Well worth the effort. Lucky, that's close enough. All right, these are good. We're making rods. Wait, you set those outside. Also, new plan, I kind of think when I'm done building each of these levels, I want to get rid of a lot of the platform. Alright, let's go see if this recorded. Alright, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking, hybrid time lapse, I put on some music. I have my speaker running so I can talk, but I'll try to only give little group uh, rundowns every every while, and we'll do it all to some new hunt down. Still super excited about that. I posted on Reddit about it today. Not too many people cared though. I don't think anybody gets. Uh, I didn't understand how fun the boom box was until I got it. All right, let's remember where we're at. We're doing two from there, two from there, two from here. Then for this we needed three, so we're getting two from there, one from there. Well, it's a splitter. Um, it'll just naturally split where it needs to once we set it up. So that means we have one, two, three. That's 60, 120, 180. And then this was 45, so 225 left. We are rolling, so that should give us plenty for, you know, maybe a whole nother line of screws, and then after that we will do, um, we'll move on to copper, see if we're going to do steel, etc, etc. I also had a thought to maybe put all of this on, out of cable, damn it, shouldn't have just done iron. Uh, I had a thought to maybe do all these on separate small platforms, so that's something we might try. So take this giant platform and turn it into, as of right now, three. One for each line of five. Either supported cantilevered from the walls or uh, braced from above. I think either one of those could look cool. Oh, so annoying about the wire. I have various hyper tubes running everywhere. If I didn't mention before, I just have those extras just to make sure we weren't going to trip. While we were setting up all this new equipment without really paying attention. We haven't paid attention to power the whole game in terms of keeping track of not falling under, tripping. Alright, I'm going to check my supply box. If there's nothing there, I'll go, uh, I'll go grab some stuff and I'll be right back. Of course not. I don't even know where we have wire right here. Is that a stator thing? I love, I love hyper tube cannons. Do 
we have that going all the way, if we have it going all the way back to base, we can just have a couple of wire makers over there. Don't know how to end that yet. And is that going to look okay? Yeah, it looks perfect. Alright, we're not ready for this, like I said, but we are ready to own wire. So, temporary. Name of the game. Let's see, that should be working now. Or a little S. You know where I'm at. Man, so I've been editing. I had three sessions in a row where I was... The mic was muted. It is just... It's so hard to watch. It's so hard to watch like an hour of footage with no voice. But like half remembering what I was talking about through it all. And knowing I was going to have to like kind of dub it over. So frustrating. So on that note, I'm probably just never going to stop talking now in my videos. I'll figure out the time lapse. I'll blend it. But what do I need to do? So like I was saying uh, last time I was on, I, I think I want to separate these. One, I was thinking platforms cantilevered out. Then I was also thinking maybe just like glass cubes, glass squares around them. I don't know, but we need to finish the infrastructure. That uh, looks backwards. Oh, it's gonna get dark. I probably shouldn't build in the dark. I'm gonna spruce up some things off camera since it's nighttime. Some of these awesome sinks. Alright, now we can build. Good play with frames. Let's play with frames. This might work. Is it tall enough? I don't know yet. Yep, just tall enough. Perfect. Will it look okay? Who knows? No one knows. It's impossible to know. Oh, hey, the sun's back. Score. I think that looks good enough for now. Maybe some beams. I don't like the uh, intersections. I don't use enough steel beams, but this isn't the right thing for it. When we're using all this black frame. I'm liking this music. Way to go, hunt down. It's been a while since I went exploring. Did get some clues though on Reddit. I posted about the uh, boombox tape. People mentioned in the blue crater, or blue craters. I don't know what they meant by multiple. And then someone else said there's a third one in a cave. We never built this uh, crystal, or uh, what is that one? High speed connector. Maybe we can. Uh, I kind of want to see if we can just put it straight into the wall. 
it would be this block to be even with this top row. See how deep we can get it. That's what she said. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty that's pretty deep. About from this side. I already don't like it, but it's going to work for now. Because I don't care if I don't like it. I want it out of my very front entrance. So this will do for now. Our first left output. Man, I just want to make this a wall now. So let's see what that looks like. Maybe here-ish. Let's go half foundation, see what that gives us. hex frame. We use a little bit of it inside. We should bring it out here too. Doesn't fit at all. <laughs> oh well. Fucking always night. So it's it's nighttime, so I'll try not to talk long. But just kind of checking in. I uh, this ep this episode, I'm worried. I have no idea. It might be long. It might be the first one in months that gets close to an hour. But we'll see. I have like ideas that I want to jump around to, so I'm trying to get a decent chunk of this done because I don't think we're going to return to it for a couple episodes after. But what I did do is I kind of took out some of this platform. Uh, from here to there, added a wall, um, added, took some off the back, kind of made it its own structure. Uh, I'm not, I'm not finished with it. I'm not happy with it completely yet, but I like the direction it's heading now compared to where it was before. And I have ideas for kind of how to do the copper and concrete in the assemblers outside of that. But let me wait for daytime. Well, it's bright enough up here. I also did a little bit of belt work. Kind of got the method I want to bring it in. I want to hug it more up against. I'm kind of lining up these to hug them right up against the wall. Even if the clipping goes in a little bit. Um, I'm not worried about clipping into the environments right now. I'm kind of going for it in these cave builds. As seen with that awesome sink. Uh... Just kind of a, I don't think I showed any building of this. Just a causeway for the belts. Added the outside to this. Nothing much to it. And we have these three split up now, so those are all working. Through smart splitters. Just have any going through. I wonder if that should actually be overflow, but... Um, it probably should because you're seeing those screws over there, so it's probably going every other one. But, we're okay with that. I mean, how often do you need a bunch of screws by hand? Still need to add a driveway, parking lot, something or other. Alright, so, like I was saying, when it was nighttime, we got the copper right there. We're not smelting these on site. We're just doing it over there in the area past the bridge. Um, and I want to kind of do platforms, so I think that's probably why I did this here. Uh, so like I always do, you run a foundation off of your current build, bring it down that way. Anything we do with this is uh, in relation to that in terms of one meters and all that. So yeah, I think I mentioned earlier, kind of like cantilevered 
off the off the walls, off the cave walls. But then also I picked that height so that, you know, everything is accessible and we can kind of get under it and get around it. See the cave, the cave of it all. So that kind of goes with that rock, not covering up too much of the opening. We could probably get some of our supplies from here. Um, or we could have a different line somewhere else. We might have another little one in here for limestone, especially if we end up bringing um, coal. But coal is one of those things that that's going to take a couple episodes. I, I want to get back to some of the tree stuff. And I also want to make like a tutorial video too on the side. So uh, it's going to take probably a little bit before we get back to the cave stuff. I'm happy with the start. Maybe I should stop it there. Maybe let's stop it there. I don't need to go into coal. I don't need to go into copper. Uh, I need to get I need to get some game plans. Thanks for watching. Um, it's been a real good week. And just in the community in general. Discord's been a lot of fun. Reddit's been fun. Uh, the streams are always fun. It's fun to listen to Jason Snut. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you soon. In daylight, hopefully. We need, to get, we need to get started on this just to get rid of the scaffold. Oh, and side note, I know I just ended the episode, but uh, for those that do watch the whole series, uh, know that I've had problems with the fuel trees getting uh, the full lift that should be provided by having this water tower this direction. But just so happens, Kibitz... Oh, just so happens, Kibitz released a video this week about a water tower and he made a statement that if you put any pump or valve past the high mark that will basically cancel out all that head lift that you achieved by building the water tower so that might be a problem I don't know what the solution is I'm curious if the solution would be I could cut off the main pipe delete all the pumps um, and then the connect it back but with the description that he used of the issue, I don't know if that'll solve it. But anyways, uh, neither here nor there. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.